everyone. I hope you guys doing well during this pandemic. So firstly, my name is Nurbila Iza Binti Ismail and you can call me Bella. And today I'm going to present about subtopics 1.3 which is science, technology and industrialization in 19th century. So before we go into deeply about this topic, I would like to explain a bit about 19th century. So firstly, years for 19th century is from January 1, 1908 until December 31, 1900. 19th century is also known as a rise of modern industry and social change. This is because in this century, there are a lot of inventions that has been invented in order to change from old to new ways. This revolution was started from end of 18th century until early 20th century. In addition, the social also affected with the revolution such as slavery was abolished during the century. This revolution was started from Western Europe to Britain and then to North America before it spread to more countries. So I'm going to break this topic into a few subtopics, which are science in 19th century, technology in 19th century, science and technology, industrialization in 19th century, and technology and industrialization. So firstly, science in 19th century. As I know, most of you guys are taking science course before, right? So I guess you guys must know what is science. To be more specific, science is a knowledge that can be gained by doing experiment in order to prove the observations that has been made. Science exists starting from ancient Greek until now. Science is formed by ancient Greek who try to explain what the world is made of and how it works. These are the timeline during 19th century for science. Some of these inventions must be familiar with us, such as atomic theory, the form of rock, conservation of flow energy, predictable, and many more. There are four science inventions that has been invented by four figures. Firstly is John Dalton, who invented atomic theory. He formulated it as a fundamental building block of chemistry. He also characterized the characteristics of the compound. The combination compound will produce a complex structure. For example, carboxylic acid, COOH. This theory took over years to incorporate existence, the existence of atomic isotopes and in the conversion of mass and energy. Next is Dmitry Mendeleev, who invented the periodic table. This theory is also related to chemistry. Each element that has been found will be arranged according its relative atomic mass. To this Today's periodic tables are arranged by increasing atomic numbers as it arranged was related to atomic ratios. Third figure is Charles Liu, who invented theory of rocks. He is also known as the father of modern geology. There are three volumes about exposition, exposition from the foundation of modern geology that has been wrote by Charles Liu. All of these volumes tell about the formation of rocks. Last figure is Charles Darwin. He is the one that identified about animal species. He sailed by using beagle. So you can imagine the beagle from movie Pirates of Caribbean. He traveled to Brazil and then to Galapagos Island to identify species of finch. For your information, finch is a medium-sized pestering bird which is eating seeds and nuts and often it has colorful plumage. Next is technology in 19th century. Technology is a set of knowledge used to, to transform and use our environment to create tools and machines. The existence of technology starting from Stone Age. It was discovered by ancestor, which is the stone is used to make knives, axes, and cutting tools, which facilitated the work hunting. Technology can be divided into two types, which is hard and soft technologies. Hard technologies related to field of physics and chemistry, meanwhile soft technologies related to field of, field of economy, management, administration, and sociology. These are the timelines and technology that has been invented in 19th century. Most of these technologies still in use nowadays, but has been upgraded to more comfortable for people to use. 
from the timeline, five figures, four figures with technology has been chosen. Firstly, is Alexander Graham Bell. For the name, I think you guys know the invention that has been done by him. None other than telephone. Before the creation of telephone, Alexander spent long days and nights trying to perfect the harmony of telegraph. He was then got an idea to create something by transmitting human voice idea to create. He was then got an idea to create something by transmitting human voice over wires. This idea interested by Watson, making him a great partnership with Alexander. Next is Henry Sealy, who invented electric iron. Before electric iron was invented, they used carbon to create heat, but the use of carbon is unsafe and commercially unsuccessfully. Henry worked with his partner Deere to pattern different electric flat irons until the flat iron is used to iron clothes. Next figure is Will Rondent, which is the one that invented X-ray, which is used in medical. It is a form of electromagnetic radiation with a very short wavelength. wavelength. Last but not least is Carl Benz, the one that invented the first car. He got credit because his car was practical, used a gasoline-powered internal combustion engine, and worked like modern cars today. Next is about the science and, and technology. Science and technology can be related on each other as it gives impacts to society in 19th century. It is, it is an encompasses of science, technology, and the interaction between the two. Most of technology in 19th century can be used in science such as biology, chemistry, and physics. For example, the use of X-ray in medical to find out disease in the body. Microscope is to find out small living things that cannot be seen by naked eyes. Invention of the railway for the convenience of population. And last but not least, the use of physics that can produce technologies such as telephones, circuit wires, and various technologies. This combination gives many impacts, such as be able to recognize disease, the cholera epidemic, knowing existence of many different species animal, can cure disease, can perform complicated surgery, and increase the use of gun power in army, which give advantage towards them to win any battle. Industrialization in 19th century. Industrialization is the main focus in this, in this topic because in 19th century, the industrial revolution took place, which is resulted in the rise of modern industry at that time. Industrialization is a process and economy transform from primarily agriculture to one based on the manufacturing of goods. The industrialization was associated with European Industrial Revolution at the late of 18th and early of 19th century. The Industrial Revolution is a process that increased manufacturing and the production which boosted industry and encouraged new inventions and innovations. Industrialization can be classified into two revolutions, which are in early 19th century and the end of 19th century. Early 19th century is also known as proto-industrialization period, which is a form of mechanization and agriculture started to be replaced by the industry. End of 19th century in this is the year where a massive advancement in the industrial field, which is the emergence of new sources such as energy, electricity, gas, and oil. There are two types of industrialization, which are heavy industrialization and light industrialization. For heavy industrialization, it involves the production of modern machinery and equipment that require high skills and models. Meanwhile, light industrialization involves the process of agricultural products mining, logging, and fisheries. Starting from 1803, cotton becomes the Britain's biggest, biggest export, which overtaking wool. In 1804, the first locomotive railway journey took place in February. Retrievitic invention successfully hauled a train along a tramway in Murty Treat Field. Trevitic locomotive is a high-pressure steam engine to driving an iron rolling mill and to probably a barge with the, with the aid of the pedal wheels. 
So if you can't imagine it, you can see from the picture given in the slide. In 1815, a new invention has been invented, which is safety lamps for miner. This technology is invented by Cornish chemist Sir Humphrey Davy and English engineer George Stephenson. Safety lamps is any of several types of lamps that provides illumination in coal mines and is designed to operate in air that may, that may contain coal dust or gases. Safety lamps were developed to enclose the flame, the flame and prevent it from igniting the surrounding atmosphere. It has been replaced in mining with steel explosion proof electric lights. In 1803, Josh Stephenson created the first public intercity rail line in the world, which connecting the great northern cities of Manchester and Liverpool. Cotton arriving from plantations in America would supply the textile mills of Manchester with a finished cloth written to Liverpool. In year 1852, the British, the British Ship Building Company, Palmer Brother & Co, opens in Jarrow and they built a first iron warship called HMS Warrior. Last but not least, at the end of the year 19th century, the industry of Great Britain reaches its peaks with the textile industry producing around 8 billion yards of clothes. From the Industrial Revolution, there is a few things happened during the years. Firstly, the existence of a group called Luddites. Luddites is a group of people that dislike the invention of new technology. The original Luddites was British weavers and textile workers who objected to the increased use of mechanized loom and knitting frame. This because they feared that unskilled machine operators would take place their jobs. Next is the Factory Act, which is the law states children younger under age and women are banned from working underground and limited working hours in textile factory to 10 hours a day. Last but not least, is the more advanced industry leads to a cholera epidemic. It was originated from India in 1870. This has happened because rural to urban migration resulted in over half the population of Britain now they are residing in towns. Industrialization, industrialization gives good and bad impacts towards society. The left side is the good impacts, meanwhile the right side is the bad impacts. So for the good impacts, uh, there are firstly expansion of international trade, second, the emergence of the aristocracy, third, changing the state of the changing the state of the city, fourth, many new job opportunities, five, give give people ability to transport raw material. 6. Agriculture and industrial development of economic sources. 7. New, new machinery increase production speed of goods. For the bad impact, overcrowding in cities, many health problems, worker exploitation, air pollution, population migration, and competition with machines. So that's all from me. Thank you.